the other set, which is this starter set for eyes, has five brushes as well. This is an angle brush which you will use to apply a powder eyeshadow um, or a brow, whatever colour you use for your brows basically. You can use a dark eyeshadow as long as it matches the colour of your natural brows. But yeah, it's angled so you can get a really good uh, shape on your eyebrows. Another brush which is called the, I think they have names actually, I'm not sure. Pixel Point Eyeliner Brush is a eyeliner brush, but this to me looks very, very thick, so I'm not sure mm. how we're going to use this. So I know I've got to use this brush, I feel a bit disappointed now. <laughs> well, the one I use personally to, as an eyeliner is the MAC 210, um, or the, I can't remember what it's called now, whatever, but anyway, they're like a third of the size, so we'll see how that goes in a minute. Mm. Um, this teeny tiny brush in this set is a defined brush, or a definer brush, for getting a really, really good kind of like when you're doing detailed work on your eyeshadow if you want to apply a colour in a small area or if you want to apply it on the inner corner or under your waterline then you'd use a tiny little brush like okay. that. Um, this brush is a fluffy brush and you'd use this to basically apply an all over wash colour. And then the last brush which is my favourite brush from this whole collection or whatever or from all of her brushes basically is a teeny tiny buffing brush. And although it is advertised or they do sell it as an eyeshadow brush or a crease brush, which you can use it as, um, I would say use it for concealer because you get a really good, again, airbrushed effect by buffing. I think buffing any kind of liquid product gets the best effect. So yeah, looking forward to using that as a concealer rather than an eyeshadow brush. Yay. And that's it. Okay, so using the eye brushes, from the Real Techniques range, we're going to finish your look off. So we've done your base makeup and your contouring and highlighting. We just want to do your eyes, your brows and your lips. Cool. So the first one we're going to do is your brows using the Real Techniques brow brush, which is an angled flat brush. Um, and you're going to do it using your Benefit browsing. So basically take whichever powder you use, I don't know which colour Yeah, use. normally what I do is normally I use this like liquidy one first mm -hmm. and then I use this one after mm -hmm. and then I buff it. Is that right? Is that okay? I don't use this kind of product. Oh, okay. Well, that's what the woman in the shop told me to oh, do. Oh, that's fine then. Should I just try mm -hmm. it? Okay, so this is how I... Well, the powder sets the liquid, so yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so... The angled part means that you can get a really defined, you know, like... Mm. It's the same shape as an eyebrow naturally at the front, so you use that there and then gently work it outwards to okay. fill in your brows wherever you would fill I mean, in. My eyebrows are um, absolutely horrendous at the minute. The girl that threads them is away, which is why they're so wild. But um, Yeah, so just gently go with the shape of your eyebrow, your natural eyebrow. Just fill in where there's any gaps or if you want to make them bigger or longer. There's much need for that. <laughs> so yeah, at the front, the um, fat part, using the fat angle, will enable you to get the perfect shape at the front, and then turn it on its side and use use it kind of, if you know what I mean, flat, flat to, go, like, yeah, yeah. to get the thinner bit and elongate it down there. So you can do that. Okay, so... Use your fingers. Is that alright? No, it's fine. It's good. So they're much more defined now. So yeah, gently use your fingers and you can blend it in. And then we'll do your eyeshadow. Next, um, we're going to use this fluffy brush. It's called the Base Shadow Brush. I'm going to use your base. So um, I never ever wear eyeshadow, by the way, guys. Just okay. make this really natural. So this is actually Holly's eyeshadow because I don't own any. Which is um, a Gavanchi Prism, which is, you can use it as a bronzer and as eyeshadows individually as well. It's really good. So you want to take, your base colour is usually your lightest colour, closest to your skin tone, and you do that all over. So you're going to take this one and just kind of work it in. I'll do it for you. And then you kind of pat it on and work it all over the lid. This brush, does it feel nice? It should mm, feel really soft. soft. Yeah, disperses the product really, really nicely. Because it's fluffy, you can get a really even uh, look.
The other brush that came with the set is for the crease, which is called the Deluxe Crease Brush, but we've used that for concealer because I think it's personally really, really good for concealer, so we're not going to use that. But if you were going to use it for eyeshadow, what you'd do is you'd find a matte shade, which is kind of of a mid-tone, similar to this one. Um, it's almost like the Harmony Contour Powder we used in the last video for creating shape on your face. You'd create shape on your eyes using a similar kind of shade. Always use matte. Um, to create the shadow and basically you just lightly apply it um, on your find the bone on your eye you know where your crease is where your eye uh, the socket the top of your socket yeah. you find that with the brush and gently work it in and you can see that it creates dimension makes your eyes bigger you want to use this brush for your eyeliner yeah it just to me looks a bit fresh so annoyed about this it looks fat to me and i personally prefer a thinner one but you see how you get along with your okay, gel liner go. yeah so this is the um eyeliner effect for fossil ysl it's an oh god sorry i was just looking <laughs> in the mirror, in the mirror. Oops. there you go can you see me yes okay so let's have a go with this so with this i just put it in right yeah just how you would a normal eyeliner brush okay but, and see how that one goes Right, let's see how, what happens. I don't now. have to tell you how to do this. Well, <laughs> maybe. I mean, normally with eyeliner, I use liquid. I've only just recently started using brushes, but mm -hmm. um, I really like gel liner. Yeah, well, I do. But we oh god, it's a bit messy. But um, normally I with eyeliner, I just sort of. It sometimes it just sometimes it works really nicely, and then other times it's mm. a bit of a mess. In which case, I just wear more and build it up into it. Yeah, mine's always a bit hit and miss. Even though I've been doing it for so long, some days I'll get the perfect wind eye, and then others one is great and the others rubbish. But that's just one of those things. <laughs> it is. I found I found like it's easy to control with liquid eyeliner, but I feel like, oh, I kind of like oh, gel. I'm really good with liquid eyeliner. I, I haven't got the practice with this though. Yeah, I like gel. Have that much practice. It's, it's creamier. I find it quite easy to smudge and kind of get. Oh, that's good. I actually, it? it's not bad. You know. Did you hear that? I wasn't saying it was bad anyway. I was no, just saying it looked a bit said that was good. <laughs> which is for definition, I think, yeah, the accent brush. And we're gonna take a shimmery kind of highlight color really on the inside corner of your um, eyes, which will make them stand out a little bit and open the eyes. So I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick because that's all we have, and take the kind of... Um, I just have no idea what's going on anyway, this is all like surpassed me, but... I take the pale gold just shade try. just on the tip of this tiny brush and just do it on the inner corners. So you wanna do it on the top inner corner, and then bring it round in kind of a C shape all the way around so it's just on the inside, just on the V shape basically, the whole way around your inner corner of your eye. It really will um, make them look more awake, especially when you use black eyeliner and things, they can look a bit smaller, you know, on the inner, if you bring it right to the rim. So just take it like that. There you go. Let's see you see. And then last but not least, we're going to finish by doing your lips with the lip brush. And so what lipstick do you want to wear today? Um, I don't know, either of these. Okay, we'll do Vanilla Truffle. Yeah. I'm going to use Estee Lauder's Vanilla Truffle, which is my favourite nude. It's a really nice kind of peachy, natural, uh, mid-tone nude. Using a lip brush really helps because you can get more of a fuller coverage. Um, you can get the kind of, create the shape of your lips and get a more, more defined look with your lipstick especially when you're using a bright or dark colour, a more unnatural colour, basically. I never use lip brush. I don't either, really. I do sometimes, if I mean, it depends what colour, but most days I don't use a bright colour, so there's no need. But if you, I'd say every day you probably don't need it. But um, if you're wearing a red or, you know, a coral or something, Mm -hmm. Even a bright, really yeah, even a bright pink. I would say it makes so much difference to use a lip brush. So you just basically find the contours of your lips and use the pointed bit to get the shape. And that's it. Nice. Yeah. 
you're looking wow. very Bardot. Mm. Is that all of them then, right? That's it. We've done it. That's all of them. Aw, so thank you so much, Holly, for helping me. It's okay, we'll see how you get on now. Yeah, I think I'm going to be really good with the foundation brush and I think the contour and the bronzer and stuff. I think with a lot of the eye brushes, I possibly will not maybe use them, but maybe I will, who knows, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. You might become a pro. We'll see. I might, you might have to watch out. <laughs> it's all right, I'm not a pro. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm good at remember. reviewing products, but I'm not sure about applying them uh, or being artistic, but you know, whatever. Okay. okay. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys, bye! Hey guys, so my Real Techniques tutorial um, with Holly is um, finished and now I'm looking human again, I feel so happy, I'm actually mortified that um, I looked the way I did earlier on the, well on video like that. Um, so yeah, makeup is done and my first thoughts on these brushes are that I'm probably the most excited about the foundation and the contouring brushes. So this one and this one and I definitely feel like I will be using these. Um, I think I quite like the eyeliner one as well actually and um, yeah, no, I'm really excited. I mean, I don't know, we'll just see how it all pans out, whether I do end up using them or whether I end up going back to just using my fingers um, and sticking to my old way. So let's see. Uh, watch this space. Um, I hope you found this remotely useful for maybe some of you that don't um, like, are like me, sort of a bit of a makeup novice, just stick to uh, what you know and don't sort of get too involved with tools and stuff. So um, yeah, I hope you found it interesting. Okay, bye.